Welcome to our channel today, we'll discuss about Plastic Credit Bond, PCB. I. Introduction. 1. Hook. Start by highlighting the global plastic pollution crisis and its environmental and economic impact. 2. Introduce the PCB. Define the PCB, its originators, World Bank and City, and its core objective, financing plastic collection and recycling projects. 3. Explain the bond structure. Briefly explain the key features like principal protection, fixed coupon, and variable returns linked to plastic credit sales. 4. Highlight significance. Emphasize the importance of the PCB as an innovative financial instrument, addressing plastic pollution and potentially transforming waste management. SKU. Background and context. 1. Global plastic pollution. Discuss the scope of the problem, focusing on statistics and its impact on various ecosystems and human health. 2. Existing solutions and challenges. Review current waste management methods like landfills, incineration, and recycling, highlighting their limitations and challenges. 3. Emergence of plastic credits. Explain the concept of plastic credits, their role in incentivizing waste collection and recycling, and establish standards like Vera's Plastic Waste Reduction Program. 4. Financial instruments for sustainability. Briefly discuss other green bonds and impact investment mechanisms to contextualize the PCB's emergence. The World Bank's PCB. A case study. 1. Focus on the first-of-its-kind PCB issued by the World Bank in 2023. Discuss its key features, including the targeted projects in Ghana and Indonesia, the types of plastic credits generated, and the investor structure. 2. Analyze the potential impact of this specific PCB. Discuss how it could increase plastic waste collection and recycling in these regions, generate financial returns for investors, and create a model for future bonds. 3. Address potential challenges and limitations. Discuss concerns like the validity and verification of plastic credits, the long-term sustainability of projects, and the potential for greenwashing. Third, the PCB in detail. One, project scope and beneficiaries. Describe the two plastic collection and recycling projects in Ghana and Indonesia funded by the PCB, their target communities, and expected impact. Two, bond mechanics. Deep dive into the technical aspects of the PCB including coupon rates, principal repayment, and the calculation of variable returns based on plastic credit sales. 3. Stakeholders and roles. Identify the key stakeholders involved in the PCB, including investors, project developers, verification bodies, and plastic credit buyers. 4. Potential benefits and risks. Analyze the potential benefits of the PCB in terms of environmental impact, economic development, and community empowerment. Assess potential risks like project performance variations, credit market fluctuations, and greenwashing concerns. The broader landscape of PCBs. 1. Discuss the emergence of other PCB initiatives. Explore similar projects launched by private companies, NGOs, and governments, highlighting their differences and similarities. 2. Analyze the potential of PCBs as a global solution. Discuss their scalability, replicability, and potential for attracting significant investments toward plastic waste reduction. 3. Compare PCBs to other plastic pollution solutions. Discuss their advantages and disadvantages compared to traditional recycling, waste to energy, and plastic bans. 4. Explore the role of regulation and standardization in the PCB market. Discuss the need for clear standards for credit verification, project eligibility, and investor protection to ensure transparency and impact. IV impact and future potential. 1. Early assessment. Evaluate the initial performance of the PCB in terms of plastic waste collected, plastic credits generated, and returns for investors. 2. Comparison with existing initiatives. Compare the PCB's impact and outcomes with other plastic waste reduction initiatives and highlight its unique value proposition. 3. Scaling up potential. Discuss the potential for scaling up the PCB model to finance larger waste management projects in different regions and attract broader investor participation. 4. Regulatory and policy landscape. Analyze the role of supportive government policies, regulations, and infrastructure development in enabling the success and scalability of the PCB model. V. Conclusion. 1. Restate significance. Briefly reiterate the PCB's significance in addressing plastic pollution and contributing to a circular economy. 2. Key takeaways. Summarize the main points, including the PCB's structure, impact, and potential for the future. 3. Future outlook. Offer a forward-looking perspective on the PCB's potential to contribute to a more sustainable plastic waste management system globally. Additional tips. 1. 
Use credible sources like World Bank reports, press releases, academic papers, and industry publications to support your arguments. 2. Include visuals like infographics, charts, and maps to enhance understanding and engagement. 3. Maintain a neutral and objective tone while acknowledging different perspectives on the PCB. 4. Proofread carefully for accuracy, clarity, and flow. 5. Thanks for watching.